The system of control that the machines forced onto humanity is one that suppresses the truth about their reality and governs every aspect of their psyche, bringing them to a state of manipulation that extends beyond the simulation. The people who watched the Matrix films only scratched the surface of what the system entails. Things were about to get more complicated. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Before we begin today's video, we would like to proudly announce Matrix Explained memberships. Members will unlock badges and emojis for live chat and video premieres, alongside other benefits such as early access to videos and more, with other benefits being added in the near future. This directly helps us to continue to make content for all Matrix fans. So please join us and enjoy today's video. This system of control begins with the fall of mankind. According to the history of the Matrix universe, humans rejected the machines that became self-aware. They were destroying them. This sad state of affairs ignited a war between man and machine, which man ended up on the losing side. The remaining humans were imprisoned inside the Matrix to be turned into fuel for the machines. Combined with a form of fusion, the machines had found all the energy they would ever need. The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world, built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. The Matrix is a simulation designed to trick your senses and make you believe that you live inside the real world, when in reality, you are being used as a power source. However, the simulation wasn't flawless. The first versions of the Matrix were failures, resulting in a massive loss of life. The solution to the problem was found by an intuitive program known as the Oracle. She discovered that by adding the concept of choice, it would increase the stability of the Matrix. And thus it was, but only at a 99% efficiency. You might think that a 99% effectiveness is all that the machines need in order to maintain control but there are millions of people connected to the Matrix. This means that at minimum, there are thousands of people who will end up rejecting the system. This 1% error probability is still high and dangerous. Also by adding the concept of choice into the equation, the integral anomaly was created, a subject capable of breaking the Matrix. So the Oracle and the Architect created a method of control specifically for it. This particular method or system of control was part of the second layer of control for that 1%. It was part of the failsafe to keep those who would eventually wake up and the integral anomaly under control. The Oracle was created to study the human psyche. She knows our history and our collective weaknesses. So she turned the anomaly into a legend, a messiah called the One. The prophecy of the One has often confused viewers because Neo was never the supposed one or messiah. He was part of the plan. The other part of the second layer of control is that the small percentage of humans who do wake up from the Matrix are lured into a pre-established location, i.e. Zion. The machines know about Zion and how to access it. They were the ones who created it. It's their own little sandcastle. Zion was never the last bastion of humanity. It was also part of the plan. This human city was created for two purposes. First, it was to keep the red pills and the real world born humans cooped up in one location where they can't escape and where the machines can destroy them with total efficiency at a moment's notice. Zion has been destroyed five times before. The machines were always thorough in not leaving a single trace of the humans that have lived in the real world. That's why every cycle begins as if it was the first. This means that the machines either wipe the place clean or choose a new location for the new colony of humans. The city's second purpose is to manipulate and control the integral anomaly. Just as the people of Zion need a messiah figure to function as intended, the anomaly needs to care for his fellow man in order to return to the source and save them. It is a two-pronged strategy that has worked wonders for the machines. 
Your five predecessors were, by design, based on a similar predication, a contingent affirmation that was meant to create a profound attachment to the rest of your species, facilitating the function of the One. The previous anomalies were programmed to feel love for humanity, guaranteeing their return to the Source and the restart of the Matrix and Zion. So the anomaly needs Zion, and Zion needs the anomaly. It's a symbiotic relationship that serves its purpose well. It's a clever ploy that the Architect created to keep humanity and the Integral Anomaly in check. For this control strategy to work, it needed someone to guide the people along the required path. And this role is fulfilled by the Oracle. She created the prophecy and found the perfect vessel to spread the false gospel. Morpheus Neo was a mathematical eventuality and not a miracle of destiny or some divine being. The spiritual concepts that the Oracle presents serve to further control humanity. Objectively speaking, the Oracle hid behind an aura of spirituality and mysticism. And yet she is neither spiritual or mystical. These themes also serve as part of the control system. Most humans tend to believe that there is a spiritual meaning behind everything, thus unknowingly separate themselves from the truth. So all this being the case, we can clearly see that the Oracle is part of the enemy ranks and has always manipulated mankind. The Merovingian tried to warn Neo and the others of this when he questioned the reason why they were following the orders of the fortune teller. You are here because you were sent here. You were told to come here and then you obeyed. Since I have seen how good you are at following orders, I will tell you what to do next. Run back and give the fortune teller this message. Her time is almost up. The Merovingian once said that the eyes of the Oracle cannot be taken, but only be given willingly by the Oracle herself. It is said they cannot be taken. They can only be given. What? The eyes of the Oracle. However, Smith was able to take the eyes of the Oracle when he assimilated her. At first, this might seem like a contradictory, or worse, a plot hole. But in actuality, the Oracle let Smith assimilate her. An action that Smith himself was pondering if it was on purpose. Maybe you knew I was going to do that. Maybe you didn't. If you did, that means you baked those cookies and set that plate right there deliberately, purposefully. Which means that you're sitting there also deliberately, purposefully. She willingly gave Smith her eyes. The only justification for this is that it was also part of the plan. The machine's system of control extends beyond the Matrix. It reaches out into the real world. The hard truth is that there is no escape for humanity. However, things could change in Matrix 4. What if the prophecy of the One actually came true? We know that the legend about the One was a fabrication, but what if by repeating the cycle so many times, it actually creates a savior? What if the anomaly breaks free from the machine's control? This is, in our opinion, the most logical path for the continuation of the Matrix. The Matrix introduced the virtual world and the prophecy of the savior of mankind. Matrix Reloaded and Revolutions revealed that the prophecy was part of the facade and that there was no escaping the machines. The human's best option for survival was to conform to a truce with the machines that is doomed to eventually end. The Matrix Rebooted or Restarted, feel free to use either one Warner, must establish something that brings the entire series full circle. And that something could be that the false prophecy of the One ironically comes true. But Neo did save humanity at the end of Revolutions, right? He saved both humans and machines. Well, not exactly. The end result was still part of the Oracle's plan in pursuing the elusive 100% effectiveness in the Matrix. But do you agree? Did you know that the Matrix was much more than a simple simulation? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.